these turns I know that what's up YouTube Dapper Dan here and today I'm on my way to go test drive that was the turn right there I needed my dream cruiser motorcycle that I will get eventually Oof. Uh, nope that's not a street These all these one ways are confusing. <laughs> we will uh, test ride it and see how it goes. See how it fits me. You guys remember that uh, 1100 Beast Star did not fit very well. So this time, before I buy one, I'm going to test ride it. And it's going to be a long time before I buy it too. I got to save up. What in the world is this guy doing? It's a one-way. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. Hopefully they have a couple 48s. I know they do. Let's go see what they say. I'll be right back. Alright, the side stand. There's that Harley Davidson clunk. Oops. Alright. Ooh. That's a torque. Alright. Alright. We'll get used to this in a second. The pegs fit really well. Oh, those brakes are really good too. That clutch is like right away. All right, we're still recording. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's that clunky transmission. Really? This seat is really comfortable. This tank, I love this small tank. I only get it for like 15 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Lots of torque, I like that. Oof. Oh gosh. And there's the neutral light. It's really small. I can still flat foot, that's good. Oh my goodness, you can't really pop the clutch on this. God. Holy transmissions, oh my gosh, what is that clunkiness? Doesn't have too much engine braking. I believe it's still a five speed. Wow, these brakes are really good. Compared to my bobber. <laughs> Start out in second here, maybe. That clutch does not have a very long throw at all. Man, this light too. We're doing 30. It goes into this turn really well if there wasn't so much traffic. Alright, we're still recording. or not. Definitely, definitely needs an exhaust. It's way too quiet. If I get one of these, I'll definitely get an exhaust, the two-in-one. Oh yeah, it's got these turn signals on each side. Now how do you cancel it? Press it again? Okay. Yeah, Harley Davidson always does the turn signals on each side. Clunk. Golly. Jeez, you do not have much play in that clutch at all. Alright, oh, I was 
that's going to test the turning radius there. <clears throat> So much torque, like right away, you can feel it. All right, let's test the uh, turning radius here. Standard U-turn. Oh yeah, you can stay in within one lane pretty much. Yeah, all that torque just wants to pull you back. The seat's comfortable. My legs can reach the pegs, which is what I was worried about. Brakes are very good. Uh, it's just too quiet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, my bike has, when you go down in the first or when you're in fifth, and you keep pressing, it still has some play in it, but this one is solid. And that Sportster that I rode, it had play in it, but this, whoops, this one, look at this. There's no play in it. You, you know you're in first. You can't push it anymore. It kind of sounds pretty good right here. I imagine, uh, with some exhaust, it'll sound really good. Wow, I love these brakes on this. I should just go around. I can put both my feet flat on the ground, which is good. See how it does on this bump here. Handles the bumps about the same as the bobber. And highway speeds, it's a 1200 engine, uh, 1200 cc motor, so it'll do highway speeds just fine. And we cut out way too fast. All right, passing power, I think we're in third. Or fourth. It's got plenty of passing power. That was third. Interesting. We'll go down to fourth here. All right. as much torque down low as I was expecting. Okay. All right, we'll turn around here and then head back. Clunk, clunk, clunk. That should be second. These brakes are phenomenal, golly. Go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit of a walk around real quick. All right, the side stand is a little, little funky. There you guys go. <clears throat> Harley Davidson 48. Looks so good. It's a little quiet. It is belt driven, I like that. We got passenger pegs, passenger seat old fit right there. Let's give you a sound clip. Not bad, not bad at all. So if I were to get this bike, exhaust, air filter, and really that's it. And maybe a bobber seat. Ugh, that's the only mods that it needs. Still getting used to that clutch. All right, we'll see what kind of pullout power we have. <laughs> Pulling out of here. Merging onto the highway. Right, there's an opening there. Oh, there's that rumble. That look at that. My arms are shaking. I like this bike. I like it. I'm so glad I fit on it. All right, here we go. Stay clear of the gravel, and let's go. Oh, 
There's the highway speeds already. So much torque. Jeez. I get like wanted to pull me back almost. I, that was crazy. These mirrors down below. I didn't like them when I was on that sports strip that I rode. That Iron 883. But I do like them on this. They're much easier to see out of. I know a lot of people hate this really small tank. It's less than two gallons. Um, but I don't know. I think it looks really good. I don't know what kind of fuel mileage it gets. I wonder if it gets 48 miles a gallon. That would be pretty ironic. Yep, that's first. It doesn't want to go into neutral. Why don't you want to go neutral? There you go, now you're neutral. That's pretty much all bikes though. A lot of the bikes have problems going into neutral. Yes. You gotta push up hard on that. It's not an easy transmission to shift. You gotta be forceful when you push it up. Yep, my mind's made up. I'm getting one of these someday. Let me save up for it. <laughs> Maybe in a year or two. Yeah, I heard the uh, the two into one exhaust, so it goes from two pipes into one. That's how you really make some power with these. That and a uh, intake up here on the side. And I love love how my knee is not running into the intake here on that uh, on my buddy's. Uh, Suzuki Intruder. I was running into his intake and on my bike um, on bumps my knee will hit the intake but here I got plenty of room. This is a fantastic motorcycle. Yeah it feels quite similar to the bobber in how it rides. It actually I think it feels lighter than the bobber somehow. Definitely got this rumble <laughs> this rumble when you're stopped though, but girls love that I guess. Yeah, uh, this is such a nice bike But this one is a 2008 I think and the other one they had is the exact same as this. It's a 2017 Even though it's slow speeds like this it doesn't get angry at you for going slow Here we are just cruising in second Not a lot of heat either. I'm noticing like my bike, I can definitely feel the heat in the summer, and uh, it tries to shut off on me when it's too hot out. I'm not noticing a lot of heat on this bike, though. All in all, guys, I really like this bike. <laughs> I'm glad it fits me. That's what I was worried about. I wish I had a tack, too. That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, well... This is the end of our uh, test ride here, so. Gotta give it back, unfortunately. What a nice bike, though. All right, we're back on this bike. Oh my goodness, these brakes suck. <laughs> Compared to that 48, oh my gosh. I swear that bike is lighter than this one, too. Oh my gosh, that bike is such a better bike than this one. The seating position is similar. Now that I have this new seat on there. Yeah. That bike was so awesome. Someday I will own one. It really, uh, yeah, now that I think about it, I was going to say it wasn't really a noticeable power difference, but... Now that I, uh, I'm back on this one, I definitely can notice the difference. I don't know why you guys are clogging up the left lane. There's nobody in this lane. Oh my goodness. Now I really want to go get one. <laughs> oh geez, why do they got to be so expensive? Anyway guys, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for joining me on my uh, first ride of my dream cruiser. If you guys like today's video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. 
and leave me a comment let me know what you think if you haven't already hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and have a good day